going to try and do a demo of the live chat. So what you're looking at here is uh, this is one of the demonstrator sites we have on the LivePress server. It's Maple Library, fictitious library, but you should recognize the theme is vaguely similar to your one. Um, you'll notice right now uh, there's no chat feature enabled on this. So this is what patrons would see uh, if they came to your site and you're not using the chat. I'm going to flip between two browser windows. So this one is going to be the patron uh, and then the other one is yourself while you're logged in. So if I flip over to Chrome. So this is say you're the librarian at Maple Public Library and you're uh, uh, logged in. So we've installed the live chat plugin but it hasn't been turned on. So we've created this button up at the top here, uh, online, offline. Right now it's set to offline. If we turn this on, you'll now see uh, that uh, if we come back to the patron view and load this, that this chat icon now appears at the bottom here. So we can customize this to make it a little more prominent, but we're uh, rolling it out just in this sort of subtle way uh, to see if uh, uh, it's useful at first. So, um, so as the administrator on the back end, the main place you want to hang out. Um, so, you're free to to work on the site or just have it open in the background. Um, but this live chat view shows you the visitors on the sites and the ones who are trying to initiate a chat. So, if you keep this open. Um, if the visitor then decides, yes, I'd like to start a chat, so they've asked a question, we're going to flip back, you could hear it was ringing in the background, that's the notification letting you know um, that there's a patron waiting for you to talk to, and then if you accept the chat and open the chat, you can now see here's the actual administrative chat window uh, maple.overdrive.com for ebooks um, send your chat back on the other side the patron gets the response oh great um, thanks that's helpful chat comes through Glad to be of service. Anything else? No, thanks. And then at this point, either the patron can close the chat window or you can end the chat on your side. If you end it on the patron side, it says the chat has been ended by library staff. They can then close this down. And that's essentially it. So um, you'll notice they've disappeared off the live chat window here. You will also be able to see the history of chats. Um, and here's the latest one that we just did here. If you want to view the transcript, you're able to do that. Um, there is also a list of missed chats if people tried to chat with you or weren't able to get you. But that should be enough to get you going. So, and if at the end of the shift you've decided, okay, I've, I'm not able to answer chats anymore, select this, turns it back on offline. If we go back to the patron view, reload that, I will notice chats disappeared for the end user. So, um, so what basically when you start turn on the, uh, the chat at the top, keep that uh, uh, chat window open in the admin view. Uh, it'll notify you when anybody's trying to chat. And when you're stopped working, just shut that down, turn it off, and chat will go away.